Hey everyone and welcome to today's video which is all about good notes hacks with the app this will help you be such an efficient note taker and it'll just make your time more efficient and I'll also be hosting a giveaway where five winners can get a free download of the app so be sure to check that out in the description so let's get into the video First, I'll be starting off with the new elements or stickers feature, which basically allows you to reuse items across your notes. So for example, GoodNotes already has some built-in stickers and you could write on these, put different notes on them. And they also have a bunch of different collections already pre-made. So for example, these little illustrations, but if you're not really a fan of these, you can always add your own in the plus tab. All you gotta do is name the file, then import the photos. You could do this from the files section or the photos on your iPad here I just have it in a file and I just did it individually so once you finished with that then you'll want to press done and it'll automatically be there so wherever you go in your notes it'll always be in the toolbar and you can easily just access it and paste it in resize it whatever you want However, this feature also works. So let's say you have a photo that you want to save for later and you want to transport it between notes without copy and pasting it each time. You can add it to your elements in like a new folder or whatever, rename it, anything you want. And then once you need it again, you can quickly locate it in the elements tab and it's just super fast and efficient for your note taking and it just makes your life easier. However, if you're taking math, this is especially useful if there's like formulas and like searching graphs, you always got to draw you can just draw them out and then add it to your elements and it's always there for you you can conveniently use it again and again which makes elements such a great feature so if you haven't got the update yet i hope you guys check it out Whenever you open up the GoodNotes app, you'll always be transported to these nice files all laid out. But if you're not really a fan of this and you've been using Notability before, you can always change this direction to be more vertical and have it in individual tabs, which may be for you. Next is that there's a GoodNotes computer and phone app. I like the computer app when I make flashcards and then I can quickly transport information between each other and it makes more efficient. Plus, if you want to study on the go, you can have it on your phone all the time. Next are lasso tool features which allow you to do certain things with the words that you highlight. So for example, if you circle this text, you can always change the color around. Next, if you circle a chunk of writing, you can actually convert it to text. So like typing and then copy and paste it to wherever you want. So let's say you just wrote something out and you want to put it into a document, you can always do that. However, one of the best features of the lasso tool is let's say you have a hyperlinked document. So for example, I have a hyperlinked agenda. You can just hold down with the lasso tool and it will transport you to the certain document page you want to go to. Next is the document scanning feature. If you didn't know this, GoodNotes automatically can scan your documents and touch them up for you. So you just take a picture of whatever you want and then you can adjust it to like the certain size margins. But then once you add it to there, it'll automatically clean everything up. So like the page will turn nice and white and it'll be clear and you can use these to annotate them if you want. Next, you can also change the templates around. There are a bunch of different features for you to do. So for example, when you originally open it, you can change the size. So you can have A4, A3 letter. You can also change to landscape or portrait if you want like a sideways profile. But another cool feature is making an automatic template. So for example, I automatically have this black template, but what you can also do is create a group of templates. So for example, I have a bunch of these Cornell note pages and you can just import them from your files and then they automatically get stored there so you can easily access them when you're taking notes and change the templates around, which makes it super convenient see they're right here and then you can just click them in and use them next are some eraser hacks if you didn't know so let's say you're writing something and you want to highlight it if you want to only get rid of the highlighter you can click on the highlighter tool and select highlighter only and you can see here only the highlighter is gone however if you want to erase all the words in one stroke you can click on the erase entire stroke button in the eraser tool However, if you're just too lazy to click on that button, you can use the double tap with two fingers. However, you need to do it fast enough. So for example, if you do it too slow, it won't work. 
Next are some cool things that you can do with the note settings if you didn't know. So in the top corner, there's like three dots. And if you click on scrolling direction, you can change it from vertical to horizontal. I'm always asked how to do this. And also if you click into document editing, there are a whole bunch of different features you can play around and edit with. So for example, the status bar, if you want to see it or not, depends on you. There's also pull to add page. And then tool positioning, which lets you have the tool on like the top or bottom. I don't know, on the bottom makes me feel a bit uncomfy. So I'm just gonna keep it on the top, but depends on you. And my next tip is about the Zoom writing tool. Basically, you all know about the Zoom window probably, but did you know you can adjust the size of this? Usually I find it's a bit small and it doesn't allow that much room so you can make it bigger and extend it or make it smaller if you want and you can pinch out the back so you can see what you're writing and this just makes it easier to write. And now this tip is about text features. So if you didn't know, GoodNotes is also a PDF editor. So if you have like different text in a textbook, you can always highlight certain things, you can strike out, or you can use this copy and paste, which I find pretty helpful. You just click on it with the lasso tool and you can paste it anywhere you want. So this next tip is about font text. So as you know, you can add text to GoodNotes, but did you know there are a bunch of different features you can do with them? For example, text boxes, which allow you different colors and you can change these around like the border and like the roundedness. And let's say you like the features of these current texts you can save as default. So every time you write new text, it'll show up in this yellow box and you can change it around. But I've also seen people just use this cool feature as like shapes. For example, if you just put a bunch of spaces, it'll turn into this nice yellow square. Instead of you drawing a square and then coloring it manually, you get this nice cool shape. And so that concludes the video. I hope you learned something new and I hope you entered the giveaway. See you later guys, bye bye.